Well, it looks like the signs that we posted in uh, South Korea, in Guam, uh, and in Virginia drew in some people to worship with us today. Uh, it's too bad the ones in our local neighborhood don't do the same thing. But we do have, we have visitors this morning from all of these exotic places that I've mentioned. From uh, South Korea, Yoon's mother, uh, Mayung, Mayung, did I say it right? Myung, Myung, and her sister, Yoon. That's Y-U-N, not E-U-N. Okay. So welcome to you. Now from Guam, I'm not sure I have everybody down here, but Charles, Mary, and Tom Nielsen. That only accounts. Okay, Tom. 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 That's me. Charles and Mary. And the other couple. Ken Nielsen and Linda. Oh, of course! <laughs> Ken, I didn't recognize you. I didn't. Sorry. His uh, my glasses have grown weak. <laughs> It's so good to see you. Good to be back. And it is so good. I, I know that your father also spent time in Japan, right? That's right. Um, by my, this is my father, Charles, and my mother, Mary Nielsen, retired career missionaries from Japan, the country in which they raised Thomas and myself. Okay. Tom and I are brothers. Tom currently resides in Guam and has been there for 30 plus years. And so okay. he's back on the mainland just to get his berries for a few days with us. And then what? Linda and I uh, are friends of Plymouth Congregation. Oh, Church. absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm so embarrassed that I didn't write this. <laughs> so, welcome. Special welcome to you, my brother and sister in law from Virginia, Ralph and Margaret Briggs. So, I welcome them with delight as always when they come to visit, and um, it's always a delight to have them worship with us here on Sunday morning. You know, we, um, we want to recognize those who are serving us this morning, and Zane Crocker, who is hosting our coffee fellowship, uh, is not able to be with us. She was uh, taken ill this morning, uh, just did not feel like coming. Uh, but we want to thank Zane again. I know she, she sent the Coffee Fellowship items, uh, so we will have Coffee Fellowship this morning, and we have Zane to thank for that. We um, also want to thank the choir for the flowers this morning. The flowers are dedicated to you. We had not expected to do that until last week when she announced that she is going to go back to Korea to get her master's in music and um, expects to come back to the States to get her PhD in music. Um, those of us who have enjoyed her playing and seen her talent over this period of time don't know why she needs any further instruction in anything. She is so wonderful and we have so thoroughly appreciated and enjoyed her uh, as our church pianist, as our choir director, and as our friend. And we shall uh, certainly miss her. Uh, she has recommended and we are delighted to have with us in the choir this morning, Sharon. Shara, would you mind to stand? Just let me see. This is Shara. And Shara is going to uh, come next Sunday and start as our pianist uh, on a regular basis. So we welcome you this morning. And we thank you for joining the choir. But, uh, we, we need versatile folks in Plymouth Church because, you know, um, in the same many hands make light work. We don't have many hands here, so we have to use our hands over and over again to make life work. So we thank everyone uh, who takes part in 
keeping this little church going. This coming uh, Wednesday, we will continue our Bible study. We have just two more sessions left, and we will finish the book of Daniel, Daniel, in the next two weeks. So I ask those who are attending this coming Wednesday uh, to please um, make sure you read the next three chapters of uh, Daniel, that's chapters 5, 6, and 7. Uh, in preparation for our discussion uh, this coming Wednesday. Now, I hope that everyone has gotten in their um, intention to join us for the celebration of our 100th anniversary. Uh, that will be on the 9th, Saturday the 9th of uh, June. And that observance will be at the Admiral Baker Field uh, with a formal luncheon. Uh, the executive director of the National Association will be there to bring greetings as well as uh, ministers and leaders from other churches in Cal West uh, uh, and, and, and at least one politician. Uh, I only invited one politician, I figured. That's enough. Uh, but he happens to be a good friend of the 3rd District, a good friend of Plymouth Church, and a personal friend. And uh, that's our district uh, representative, Todd Gloria, will be there to bring greetings. You may not know it, but Plymouth is the oldest church in North Park. Yes. The oldest. Last year, uh, our brothers and sisters at... Um, North Park Community Church celebrated their 100th anniversary, but that church started in a tent downtown. It didn't start here in North Park. This church started in a house in 1908, but got its Articles of Confederation in in 1912. So it actually started here in North Park. And remarkably, it is also the first location in the whole city of San Diego where an AA meeting was held. And that's documented in uh, Alcoholics Anonymous uh, historical records. Uh, and so we can be proud of a long history of serving the personal, spiritual, social needs of, uh, of people. So let's, uh, let's all take part in this celebration of the night. Uh, we want all of our members to be present uh, so that we can kind of mix and mingle with uh, our visitors from uh, our sister churches in Los Angeles and other places. Uh, and also then on the 10th, we would like everyone to be present here for our celebration. I need a ride. Hmm? I need a ride. You've got it, Mary. <laughs> You've got it. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're going to the 9th and the 10th, right? You need the ride for the 9th. You're not worried about the 10th. You can fly here on the 10th. <laughs> yeah. Mary is our oldest member. She doesn't mind me telling you that because you look at her, you know she's not 94, but that's what her birth certificate would tell you. So, uh, so, so Mary, uh, we are going to be happy to pick you up and take you to Admiral Baker Field and to have you here for our service. 